Philippians chapter one, listen to this prayer. He said, I pray that your love may abound still more and more in real knowledge and all discernment so that you may approve the things that are excellent in order to be sincere and blameless until the day of Christ, having been filled with the fruit of righteousness, which comes through Jesus Christ to the glory and praise of God. I pray that for you today, reminding you that in Galatians chapter five, describing the fruit of the spirit in verse 20, it's love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. God's called us to be gentle. That doesn't mean uh, to be weak. Uh, it means to be uh, strong enough not to be harsh. I saw a guy in church last week. He's a big burly guy, you know, strong, physically strong, has a, has a physical job and he has a brand new little baby. And he's holding his little baby, big, strong, capable man, you know, uh, just gently holding and cradling his little son. King David said, your gentleness has made me great. Absalom didn't understand gentleness. He was harsh. He was David's son and he tried to mow over people and manipulate things. He, he was wicked and manipulator. He didn't learn what David learned. David said, your gentleness has made me great. Meekness is not weakness, but it's power under control. The Bible says that let your gentle spirit be known to all men. The Lord is near. That's what it says in Ephesians or Philippians 4, 5. Let your gentle spirit be known to all men. I've been around people that were accomplished in martial arts, people that were prize fighters, cage fighters, that are so confident they don't have to show off. Then on the other hand, I've been with people that always felt obligated to try to be the tough person. But this scripture says, let your gentleness, your gentle spirit be known to all men. That's a powerful thing. I pray that your love would abound still more and more in real knowledge and all discernment. I mean, let's really give our hearts to the love walk in these upcoming days. There's a scripture that talks about brotherly kindness and these things are sort of close. They're kind of synonymous. God wants us to be loving, be joyous about it, be patient with it. Be kind in it. Be faithful. Be good. Walk in goodness. No one is good but God only. And yet, God's called us to walk in, a, in, a, in an attitude of trust where we can just relax a little bit and not overexert. Father, I pray you help us to let our gentle spirit be known to all men. I pray, Father, that that supernatural, supernatural element, that trait of gentleness would begin to permeate our society here in America and around the world. While things are getting caustic and harsh and people are moving in manipulation and, 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 and unkindness, Lord, I'm asking you to help us to yield to and walk with the Prince of Peace that when he was reviled, he didn't revile in return. He didn't get overcome and didn't get all volatile. I pray, God, you help us as a people to follow you in these regards. I pray, God, you help us to walk in love and joy and peace and patience and kindness and goodness and faithfulness and gentleness and self-control. Against such things, there is no law. The love walk, joy, these things, gentleness doesn't create any violation. Through the mighty virtues of the faith, these key components, God, I'm asking, 
will be exemplary in the outflow of our existence, Lord. What you've done in us, I pray, would actually be real and on display 24-7. I pray, God, that our love would abound yet more and more in real knowledge and all discernment, that we would approve the things that are excellent, God, that we would excel in the love walk. I ask, God, that you will move mightily on our country, mightily in our times, Lord. God, we lift up our eyes and we recognize that our redemption draws nigh, that Jesus is coming back to a glorious church without spot or blemish. And God, I know one of the characteristics you're looking for in us is gentleness. Help us, Lord, to be gentle, to have a gentle spirit, in Jesus' name, amen.